What is up, guys? This is David with the John Way 359A. Here I was at Popeye getting my chicken pot pie. You know, like like people be doing nowadays, going on a bike and just you know going out and vlogging about it. But um, yeah, I figure I should do something like that here. I've noticed that. I do not talk while I'm recording. I have a chess mouthpiece. So the camera, which is even clearer than a GoPro camera. So, um, yeah. Now, what I can say about this bike is that this thing is fast. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to control my throttle response here. I can go faster, but I'm just new to this. I mean, I have never ridden a 350cc bike before. It's always 150, 250. The highest I've ever went was with the Life and Light Can. But otherwise, this is, whew, if you want fast, this is the thing that you need to buy. This bike will either kill you or will make you. But I think for me, in that case, it's going to make me do something else. So yeah, it's fast, it's nimble, Ooh, the torque and you know, the curve and the slide. And you know, this, this thing is beautiful, man. Everything a sport bike should have. So yeah, I mean, what's with these people nowadays, you know, they, to say here you can see this is me traveling local yeah, the speed limit is 25 tailgating this guy I mean there's not much to do just tailgating I know you boys don't like to tailgate on bikes you like to go on and willy and just skipping and all that not me uh, I'm a cruiser rider I'm not a sport bike rider so when you're transitioning from, from cruiser to sport bike you're still riding a cruiser style on a sport bike you know what I'm saying but otherwise the handling the braking the um, the whole defensive driving tactic which I have I still apply but yeah look at that curve man Ooh. <laughs> this thing is sweet fun Look at this. Once you're on this, you, you want to stay the whole day doing that, man. Look at this. The left side, look at this. Ooh. And that's low speed. That's not even high speed, man. Imagine if I'm on highway doing that on a 70 or 80. You know, that is death calling right there. But now we're going to do 0 to 60. Ready? Here we go. second you get to 60 miles per hour kiddo wow and i'm actually controlling my speed here because i don't want to go too fast i mean someone could have done that better in around five seconds but yeah man Whew. see me doing a, a video about riding a motorcycle instead of fixing it all the time. Well, there you have it. I'm riding it right here. Why do you want me to talk to me? on the GoPro camera? I ain't gonna do that. I need to concentrate in talking while I'm riding. It's the same thing like texting while driving. 
that is distraction at its finest. I don't know how people still does that and vlog about it. But you can actually edit the video afterward and do it. Yeah, now look at this bike. See, the city is clear. I mean, as in for keeping up with traffic, this thing eats traffic. I'm actually controlling my throttle response, man. I can go faster. But I'm new to this. You know, the braking and all that is all new to me. I have never ridden a sport bike before. Correction, I have. I haven't been riding a sport bike for a while. Now, I have, I have ridden one in 2016. Dong Fang DF250 RTS, my first sport bike. Sadly, it died at 2,000. Wait, wait, was it 4,000 miles? Yeah, something like that. Had major engine problem, which is why I do that inspection on this bike, changing the oil, changing the spark plug, because this Chinese factory tends to screw you up when you buy something from them. They give you a good product. It's just that they they don't know how to handle it. There's no book for these things unless you're smart like me, you know how to compare the engine, but otherwise there's really no books for these things. Yeah. Um I may leave you guys soon. But um yeah, keep keep posting my channel. Rate, comment and subscribe. And this is the GTO from John Way. Or you would call it Vitasi GTO 250cc, or you'll call it Venom GTO 250cc.